All right, so this is the wash pump, and sorry about the angle and all, but this customer had cleaned her dishwasher, and it just started making some crazy noises. So this is what we found in it. it almost looks like lint. I can't explain it. I asked them what it was, and they couldn't really answer, so I don't know. So some weird stuff. So pay attention to what you put in your dishwasher rinse your dishes as much as you can and this will avoid any issues of motor getting damaged or getting stuff in there where you have to dismantle the motor uh, it wasn't exactly easy but it can definitely be done all right so enjoy the rest of the video thanks Listen. Yeah. Sometimes stuff falls in here too. Sounds better. Yeah, sounds better. So maybe something was on the back side. Yeah. yeah. So you turn the power off. So, I was on a job, very similar dishwasher, and the issue with that dishwasher, well, it had two issues. One, this, this is your, this controls your dishwasher up top. We just used the voltage tester. You can see, so this has power. A lot of times we don't know which wire has power 
a lot of times when you're not getting any power to the display, you have to turn the breaker off, which basically I just did and nothing happened. So the unit is still dead. So what you want to do, the user board could be going. You unplug this. And as soon as you plug it back in, your display should come on. You might even hear it. Let's see. All right, so this one might be totally dead. So when you're dealing with a totally dead display, that means there's power from the board. Okay, that's the power. So chances are the user is bad. So we're gonna plug a working user in and we're gonna test a couple of things on this to show you what to look for and what to expect. All right, so let's get another user plugged in. All right, so displays down here. Now we're going to unplug this guy. See that? Power is right up. So right now, the wash pump is on. Machine is washing. So this unit had a bad uh, user and that was this issue this wash pump is nice and smooth sometimes you do get some debris in them and you need to open it up so i'm going to show you how to do that so Cancel. Now we're in drain. Drain pump is on. Okay, so this is the wash pump. Now sometimes you'll have a bad wash pump, or you might just have debris whenever you clean the dishwasher, or if you don't empty your dishes, you're gonna have junk in here. It gets down in this area and walks its way here. Now, a couple ways of doing this. If you're able to, you can remove this clamp. It is a factory clamp. I've done that before, just pop it off here. But you might not be able to do that. So I did a job and I wanted to include the video, but it was really hard to show you guys what to do. So I want to take the time to show you on this machine so first things first this is going to make your life a lot easier once you remove this portion this goes back on here and you want to make sure you mark this so just put a mark that you can see it now the best thing to do is to flip the machine upside down on its top put a blanket down so you don't damage your machine and it's best to literally set it upside down so you're gonna put a mark don't do a bunch of marks you just need one it's just a reference point so you know everybody goes like that and so to remove this thing you have a tab That tab is stopping this from turning. See that? So you have to push up and you gotta be super careful. You do not wanna force it because you can break it. And you also have one right there. Move my hand out of the way. Right there. 
So there are two of them and you're going to rotate this way. Okay, so you're passing that way in the arrow direction. And once you get it, you just pull it off. And I'll show you how to put it back on. But you want to make sure that you get these. All these need to be lined up, obviously. And that's where they sit. They sit on those little collar or stub. There's one there as well. So, yeah. And also when you clean your dishwasher, if you do a good clean, sometimes you do, you do need to clean this out. Um, this motor sounds good. And I'll include the other video with that wash pump. Lots of stuff in there. The machine was just vibrating and wasn't washing properly. So, all right. So I'm going to get this thing off. I'll show you how to do it. Put these off. I want to give you some angle here. Two hands when you're doing this. You kind of need um, one hand to move and one hand to twist. You can see it, it's moving. So you can get a razor in here, tiny razor. And what you're gonna do looks good we have one side held in we're able to twist and turn so that's the thing it has to be tandem okay so it has to be done together so I do need to get my finger right here and another finger right on that side. We get my tripod, get this set up so we can get this thing on. And then you can just turn it this way, boom, and it's off. All right, this one looks good, but this is what you would have to do to clean yours and get all the junk out of it. And you'd also look in here, make sure it's nice and clean. And if it's filthy, you clean it out. Now, when you put this thing back together, see this opening? That opening has to be also in reference to that opening. That's why we mark it. But this can rotate as well, so you want to make sure this stays just like you had it, so everything stays in line. All right, and that's how you do that. Yeah, so the last one was full. So, so this little thing in here is basically a little incinerator. It crushes up and grinds a lot of food, but to be honest, this should be rotating water. That's what it should be, not junk. So now I'm keeping this wash pump, so I probably was gonna put it back on, but I'll show you how to put it on. And, and make sure you don't kill your clips. Those are the clips that you'll need. Um, to be honest, these don't actually hold it. They just stop it from rotating. So God forbid, one of them is broken, you should be okay. Um, but try not to, try not to break them. Like I was mentioning, see the hole 
right there. And that hole, they do go in tandem. So you pretty much just set this thing back in its place. You have that tab and he's gonna go under it. And again, your markings will help a lot because it shows you where everything needs to be. Now, if nothing is lining up, you wanna rotate this because it does, um, it moves. But this looks like it's fine, just the way it is, as that is. And you pretty much just wiggle. Wiggle it back on, slide this piece under right there. He has to be under. And this is only if you really need to get to your pump to where you need to clean it out. So, you know, showing you this underneath the dishwasher is just about impossible. goes okay so everything needs to be totally flush you want to go all the way around and make sure now if I were to lock this then it would basically lock it down again but I don't want to do that because I'm keeping this pump but since it's half on right now this is gonna end up behind here locking it stopping it from moving so, and if you put it on and you have a leak, that means you didn't seal it all the way, meaning all the way around. It has to be totally flush, otherwise you're sealed. All right, so once you know you have everything aligned, then you're able to just twist it back in the locking position and you should be good to go. Um, so just be careful now. This so this is for locking. Can I okay, yeah. For removal, you're going the opposite way. And then you would twist opposite of how you took it off to lock it. And of course, it's gonna be on this pin. And of course that line is gonna line up. So pay attention and put some marks so you know where everything goes. I'm gonna spin this motor. I'm going to power it on. I want to see this motor turns. All right, we're gonna be checking for voltage coming in to the motor. You wanna connect your test leads. As you can see, we're getting power, which means your board is good. And if the motor was not spinning, you would just replace the motor. All right. And it goes in spurts. You will see it shortly where it kicks on again and it starts to wash. goes now on the inside that's your turbidity sensor you can see it glowing beautiful green all right guys sometimes you might need to be able to test just the wash motor and I have a harness here and this gives me the ability to run the drain pump or the wash pump so I'm going to introduce power now and we'll see the wash pump turns on.
that. And we can run both of them together at the same time. Now we're gonna unplug. And we're gonna plug back into the drain pump. Pumping. All right. Thanks for watching.